I'll let you know. Thanks, Jeff. Goodbye. Who was it? It was about the painting. It was done by a man named Clymer. He lives in Shell Harbor. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You shouldn't have married me, Mark. Oh, honey, don't start that again. But it's true. She still has a hold on you. You're still in love with her. Shut up! Still in love with her. You, you want her back. Debbie, as far as I'm concerned, she's dead. But suppose she isn't. Suppose she's living in Shell Harbor right now. All right, let's settle it once and for all. Go pack your things. We're going up to Shell Harbor. How? Now. Hotels closed. Both motel people went to Florida. I found that out. I suppose you don't have anything either. How long are you going to be here? Day or week? Well, I don't know. I got just one left. Ten a day, sixty a week, one day in advance. Good, I'll take it. Wilman Cottage. In the Cove. Are you sure that's all you've got? you like it all right. Beautiful setting. I'll have the utilities turned on right away. Are you positive there's nothing else available? That's the only place in town, mister. Nice, comfortable place, too. You can take it from me. The Wilman Cottage is one I of know the all about the Wilman Cottage. I lived there. Five years ago. from the power company will be over right away. What do you think? About what? Does it look the same? I told you, nothing ever changes around here. Did you ask the real estate man about Mr. Klein? No, I didn't. Why not? Because I thought it was more important to have a roof over our heads. It's getting late, and this is the last place in town. You don't have to take my head off. I'm sorry. That's interesting. What is? Flowers. And they're fresh. Really? Lily of the Valley. Aren't they? Jocelyn's favorite flowers. Mark? How did she do it, I wonder? Throw an old sticker over her shoulders and a scarf over her head. Look like a magazine cover. Take those off. How long since you've stayed here with her? These can't be hers. They are hers. I can see her in them now. Are you trying to tell me they've been hanging in the closet for five years? She's been staying here, Mark. Oh. She's in this town right now. That's ridiculous. Oh, Mark. Mark. Darling, stop trying to protect her. Why don't you face it? She did to you isn't enough. Now she's going to ruin us, too. You know that's nonsense. You know it's true. It isn't true. I don't believe she's here. I feel kind of foolish running around town asking people. <gasps> it's hers.
Welcome. Hello. I was just walking along the ocean. Saw your light. Thought I'd... <laughs> sure. And you thought to yourself, I'll drop in an old climber. Charming man. Brilliant conversationalist. Wonderful company. And there's a bare chance his wife is home. Jocelyn. Bless her. Where is she? Just like the rest of the Manja Halliday. Took one look at the statue. Decided you had to see the original. Oh, look, Clamor. Don't no, apologize. You're no different from the rest of them. You want to see her, don't you? Okay. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. We have company. Jocelyn, darling. Come on down for a minute, huh? <laughs> you thought she'd come down these stairs, didn't you? <laughs> Where is she? What happened to her? Happened to her? Nothing could ever happen to Jocelyn. Have a drink. No. Oh, come on. Have a drink with me. Come on. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you, Halliday. She hasn't been around for quite a while. Oh? Where did she go? Bless her little heart. Loves me madly, you know. Writes me letters nearly every day. Come on, drink up. Drink up. It's good wine. There. Yeah, that's better. I asked you where she was. I don't know. I don't want to know. A little cheat. I'm getting tired of this climber. What happened to Jocelyn? She's gone. Where is she? I told you I don't know. You said something about letters. Where are they? <laughs> You're lying, Clymer. Where is she? All right. All right. You want to know where she is? I'll tell you. She's dead. How did she die? How does one die? That's an interesting question. <laughs> Someday, when the breath leaves the body, there, there's death. But it's also true we live suspended in each other's minds. So perhaps there is no death. What happened to Jocelyn? That's a complicated story, and it's getting late. Some other time. Right now. She was such a thrilling woman. You've seen her face. To kiss that face. To have her always by your side. To know she was mine, to love, to kiss, to hold. Yet never mind completely. Jocelyn could never belong to anybody but herself. No one, no man on earth could possess her really. Where is she? I'll show you. I'll show you. Outside. Come on. Her grave is right outside. Over there, near the edge of the cliff. You mean she's over there? You're out of your mind. She isn't over there. She can't be. I can't take it anymore. What do you mean? I'm tired of carrying it around. I have to tell someone. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I had to get away from her. Couldn't take it anymore. I left her in New York and came up here. Took the cottage alone for a couple of weeks. Alone. As if I could ever live without her. One night she came up. Didn't tell anybody she was coming, least of all me. I heard the door open, looked up. There she was. No, you didn't. You're lying. 
There was another man, always another man. I couldn't take it anymore. I don't remember what happened. She was there, talking to me, laughing at me, telling me she wanted a divorce. The next thing I remember, she was lying at my feet. That's what happened. But you weren't there. No one was there but Jocelyn and me. How do you know I killed her? How did you know? How did you know? Mark. Mark. Get up. How did he know? How did he know? We didn't know. We had to guess. I told him how I thought it happened, Mark. With five years under the bridge and no witnesses, we had to resort to psychology. I'm sorry, Halliday. It was a brutal thing to do to you. We had to do it. Who are you? My name's Iverson, Detective Inspector, homicide. <laughs> and you made the painting and the sculptor and arrange for the cottage. Yes. And she isn't buried over there. No. She was found where you buried her. There was a landslide there about a month ago. A piece of the cliff slumped off. Fisherman found her. <laughs> when the laboratory reported who it was, we... Well, we knew you did it. But we had to have proof. Did Debbie know? No. That's something anyway. She was right. I never should have married her. There never could be anybody like Jocelyn. 